All right. I'm going to call the meeting of the Finance Committee, Forecasting Subcommittee to, in order at 4.08. And Mr. Mayor, are you taking minutes? I am taking minutes. All right. 4.08, we start. Anyway, um, well, Steve, you called this meeting. What would you like to talk about? Okay, I'd like to talk about the forecast. Oh, good. I'd rather talk about that than Red Sox. All right. Well, I'm going to talk about the Red Sox or the Patriots. Um, a couple of things just to um, uh, set the table here. Um, uh, Kevin has closed last year. Thank you very much, Kevin, and um, has sent all the numbers into the Department of Revenue. And the uh, free cash has been certified. Oh, it has. Yep. Oh, Just came in yesterday. Oh, good. And the free cash number is. You want to tell it, Kevin? Eight million five eighty one and change. Oh, eight five eighty one. I have eight five sixty eight. You gave me a. Eight five eighty one one thirty five to be exact. So that is better than um, we certainly had thought uh, going into the year. Um, and I will say that there is a. We are still fighting it out with um, National Grid to a certain extent. Um, so, uh, as in from tax, uh, as in from, on tax levy. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. So uh, still nothing. Well, they they some of the paperwork well, they filed last year. Yeah, nothing last year, but they did file some paperwork that does show an increase in big increase in the value that they gave us. So that to me might be new growth. So Victor is fighting it out with them as we speak. Mm. So so they reassessed the assets and it increased in value. Well, I think they accounted for all of the stuff in the ground. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. That but seems like that would he's be kind of going back and forth. So that may, you know, and hopefully we may know that. Um, apparently, he told me that their attorney was going to contact him tomorrow. So maybe we'll have some other good news to share there. Um, the other good news, without that though, without the um, pipeline, new growth came in at one million two twenty nine seven sixty five. That is not certified yet, um, but uh, Victor thinks that'll hold. So, um, and what? Where is that against forecast? Your, your uh, forecast? That was actually a little bit short, but not too bad. One seven? No, we had we had uh, we had one seven last. One year. seven? No, we had um, one one two or something like that. There's new growth in this. I had one seven in new growth, so it is a little bit uh, short of that. Yeah, this and, is uh, for and, FY. That would have been FY twenty two, right? Is that what? No, it would FY twenty three, twenty four, actually. Yeah, that's what. 20. Dan had two point two, but that's okay. Yeah, I had two two, and you're saying it's one two two nine seven yeah. six nine. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's for 24 or close of yeah. 23? It's, that's for this. Oh, yeah, 24. The, the year that we're in now. Yeah, right. Right now. yeah. Right. Okay. So at the end of 23, we'll tell you what your new growth number is that you can use for you 24. You got it. Yes, right. yes, yes. Thank you. My number was 175. So when you run all this through, what I'm coming up with and what Kevin is coming up with right now, we actually agree. Um, we were $20 off. I was twenty dollars off, and it was completely on new growth. No, on the whole budget, I was twenty bucks off. Kevin and I didn't agree by twenty bucks at three fifty-five today, but uh, it was my fault. Um, fat fingers, and uh, so we would look under my scenario, which is different from Dan's uh, because he puts more in the local receipts than I do, um, of using two point two four eight six six one nine. Of free cash to balance the budget. Two two four eight two four eight six six one nine. And I'd recommend we just round it up to two five. Okay. And I've got what I use for free cash to balance. Twenty-four. I got Oh, 841 because I had more local receipts. Correct. And for local receipts, we're using seven and a half. Right. And the actual number is 9.5.
Okay. Well, we don't know what the actual number is yet because it hasn't happened. Well, I, 24. I'm talking, yeah, well, I'm saying 20, for 23, it's 9101. Yes. So that number is much bigger than what we expected. Yes. The 9101 is actual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, settled, I should say, whatever. Yeah, right. Actual settled and in the bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so the 9465 I just have is inflation. And the 9101 was what? Before? Oh, Kevin, why don't you get in the rundown of all, all the stuff we got that we didn't expect? <laughs> no, no, just what was the number we had in this this forecasting tool? Was it? Oh, oh I had, I think I had eight. Okay. Dan had 8.4. I had 7 million. 7.25. And I was too low, so I said 7 grand. grand. Yeah. No, my desire every year is to try to get the two of you a little. <laughs> That's what you're doing. We're, 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 you know what? We're close to together. <laughs> Something less than a million would be great. Um, Steve, tell them what the uh, MMA told you when you do estimated receipts. Oh, always. Uh, is it 15 to 20 percent? That's too much. No, no. Below. Oh, yeah. below. Yeah. Below, yeah. yes. Put in the 85%. Yes. Put in the 85%. Put 85 percent of what you think is going to be. 80 to 85. Yeah. 80, 80, 80, sorry. 80 to 85. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin, oh, no. Kevin, go to have a mate. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> well, that's good news, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I should be give, you could get Jim, Jim, give Jim the rundown on the one nine point one. Don. why it's so much bigger. Don, can you hear us okay? I can hear you fine. Yes. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, the, the couple big things. Uh, Water vehicle excise, about $4 million, which is what we anticipated. But the, the two really big ones were uh, building permits was, uh, I want to say, uh, 700000 over last year. And motor vehicle excise, I'm not sorry, um, interest income. Right, which had been non-existent, but yeah. Oh, yeah. rates going up for yeah. uh, the beneficiary of that. Building permits was 758000 above budgeted. We budgeted 600000 and came in $1,358,000. Um, that was the revision for budgets. But on the, on the revenue side, investment income, we had 40000 and it came in at 661000 It was 621000 over. Uh, so just, just those two items. Uh, is about 1.4 million. Uh, hotel motel excises, we budgeted 350. It came in at 610, so that was plus 260,000. And, and 610 is getting back to normal. Normal, normal yeah. It's, it's, it's rebounded, it seems. Yeah. Uh, meals was big, though. Uh, no, meals, yeah. meals was 429. It was plus 54,000. Okay, well, 10%. Uh, uh, motor vehicle excise was. Uh, Budgeted at 4.1, it came oh, in at 4.3. Welcome. So those, those were really the big things. So overall, what we had budgeted uh, is about just under 2 million. It was 1,975 for the good, right? I, I will say this, for this fiscal year, fiscal year 24, you know, we keep on monitoring. I monitor building permits a lot. Um, our fiscal year 24 should be good because nothing for a building permit has come in for the 200 corner powered. Really? And that, yeah, for a building permit. They wow. just had the demolition. So that's going to be, I would expect they're going to pull this fiscal year. Um, and that's going to be a good chunk of change. So building permits will be good. Right. For this year. And so you're going to add that into the forecast and multiply it by 0.8? <laughs> it's already baked in. <laughs> I don't buy that. <laughs> baked into my numbers. Baked into Dan's numbers. <laughs> so Doug, just slowly moving us up. So Doug, just to get you caught up a little bit, you can see on screen um, <laughs> the current forecast, and we're going through why our free cash is so much greater than what we expected. We're at nine point one million dollars. It's the the it's um, local, receipts. local receipts are nine point one. Sorry, which is. 700,000 greater than my forecast and over $2 million greater than Steve and Kevin. Um, and our free uh, cash guys. Find one for you again. Yeah, and our free cash is 8.6 million. Yeah, and Kevin owes dinner. <laughs> um, and, and some returns, good returns from departments too. Yes. Well, yeah, the schools gave us 
Not everything, but they gave us a token amount, 425,000? Oh, 408, four something. It was 400. So. 300 of it was our It was our around 400. Back. Yeah. And some of it was other. Um, could have been some, a little bit of the library. Yeah. Too. And, and we have runoffs to that. I was wondering about that. Can you send me something about department closures for the year? Oh, yeah. Returns? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're doing that report right now. Yeah, we'll have that report. Yeah. I, I have a. That's fine. A, a overall quick summary. But yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, but, go ahead. Uh, one of the things regarding the schools and their revolving accounts, um, Ed gave me this little piece of paper, and I got my crib notes on top. About, he says, he still believes that the school department isn't following the DLS rules regarding revolving accounts. That's, yeah. his, that's his opinion. He says they're, they're still not doing it right. Well, I, I do think that one of our best practices, well, should be best practices for budget, budgeting, is that any grant or revolving account that should that should we should get to a point where that self sustains that entire program. So we've talked about this. If we grant and we hire people, that should also cover all the bennies. Right. We're going to lay that foundation this year this for year. future right. budgets and, and across and we, departments. And we brought it up last spring, and they agreed. Right. right. They agreed. did, but not for the budget they were in. No. And not for the budget planning they were right. in, sort of. Sorry, somebody else was saying something? I thought they agreed. Yeah, Dan said that. It didn't get baked into last year's budget numbers, but we expected in this year's discussion, I think. Yeah, I agree. And then the other thing I was, I reviewed the minutes from the school board, you know, when they closed last year, and the total revolving accounts went up again year over year, you know, so I'm frustrated with that. And, and there's, there's, uh, it's a target rich environment, I would say, that uh, that money in that spreadsheet that I, I want some discussions with the schools about. So. Because, of course, they got all of the money that they had on the books for the for the lunches, because nobody thought the, the state government was going to give free lunches out, but that was a smoke and mirrors as well. No, I think we thought they were. I did. I, I did. did. Yeah. Yes, not yeah. they. Let me, whoever they are, let me say that. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to say, Kevin, why, now that Doug's you caught Doug. Up. The, uh, the department has, department's uh, re returns, how much was right. it? Uh, it was $2.6 million mm -hmm. total. Yep. And uh, general government, 325, a lot of that was uh, the reserve fund, uh, education, 400,000, public works, 174. Uh, big one is benefits and administration, group insurance, 1.1 million. Wow. Uh, state and county charges, 188,000, snow and ice, 147,000. What's 188 the state? State charges. Some human uh, human services, which is, includes the veterans, 166,000. Because we we did not reduce, uh, we we did reduce a little bit, but not. Yeah, the town council wouldn't go. They didn't want to go far with enough. Yes. Right. Far enough to the, the number we wanted. So there was some middle ground. Yeah, I right. thought, right? Right. And this year, it's still not where it needs to be, but it's a step. It's better, better than what it was. But. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and then also, the, the third thing, the, the, the big thing was um, overlay. Yeah. We, oh, that's right. Overlay. We had overlay. We had 600,000 from them. 600,000. So uh, that was part of the um, part of the two points. The free cash certification. Yeah. So, so the, the grant. Those three things, the, uh, the receipts were about 2 million uh, budget revisions with 2.6 and then 600,000 in uh, overlay surplus. Uh, we finished last year with 3.3 million approximately in uh, free cash that was not spent. And then we had those three items, brings us up to the 8.5, 8.6. Oh, yeah, I've got... So Dan, does that go into column W V or column W on your spreadsheet there in line 36? So V is how we close out 23. So for example, the 9.101 receipts is fiscal year 23. And the free cash um, is not on that page. Not right? on that. It is on the page, just down further. And you know, I can never print that page. 
So the free cash is 8581137, I think you said. Okay. So that empty line, Dan, uh, uh, Don, we, we, you, what, three, we you use, that, that gets used to balance. That's what you play around with, right, Dan? Yeah. We, what, yeah. we add in free cash for the coming year after some assumptions are. Uh, right, right, right. So it shows that, for example, we're short 841,000. So that comes from right here because we're short. So for fiscal year 24, I'm saying we have to grab $841,000 to get a zero for our deficit, and then that just knocked down our free cash. Got it. Oops, went right by it. Um, here, that now becomes a zero, and we end up, what's this thousand? Oh, I know. We, um, You're thinking you're gonna add to it at the end. Yeah, because I, every year I, I use this line, that's why it's yellow there for 23, yeah. to make sure I balance out so what I'm looking at is a net free cash increase after the fall town meeting um, is 8581. To get there, I just plug in the 4059, which includes the stuff we just brought back from the, the budget, um, local receipts, anything else that I need to balance. Just zero out. To zero out to 8581. Okay. And when I, when I do the town meeting article on free cash, I will use Two and a half million, because I am I am carrying, or Kevin and I are carrying local receipts at seven, at seven and a half. I think it's seven. Seven was the last year. Oh, oh for twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So my numbers won't match there. The only because of local receipts difference. Right. We we've been doing that dance for many years now. Twenty years <laughs> worth of that. <laughs> so if you go back to the top, so twenty four is. All set, right? Um, yeah, I mean, 24 is the only thing okay. I the only thing I had to do for 24 is to plug in that number to balance out to a zero. So we, you know, we pull 841 from free cash, so that at the deficit surplus line becomes zero. Right. But, and the other, I mean, of course, then the next thing is, what does that mean for the future? Right, right, that's... And obviously, having all those extra million dollars, many millions of dollars, means if I look at our free cash, um, you know, we last a little bit longer <laughs> than, we, than we were early in the spring. Um, but we're still in a, looks like a deficit position. It's better than it was, but. And then in 25, you've got numbers in here that are uh, forecasted out of a 4% increase, basically speaking. Oh, I've got, I'm all over the place. Okay, well, that's all right. I, I'm assuming we're gonna talk about that eventually. Yeah, so this is this is my grid for. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, so this grid just goes through, you know, um, the major categories yep. uh, from, you know, general government all the way down to the overlay yep. and everything in between. I think, Dan, in the spring when we did town meeting, I think you did hold some money in your forecast for police and fire. I did. Okay. I plan to have, I hope to have both of those at? At fall meeting. At fall town meeting. Really? Yeah. You think you're that close to having settlements? I think I'm pretty close, yeah. Okay. How close are my numbers? I, what do you have in there? Let's talk offline on that. Let's talk offline. On okay, that. we'll talk offline on that. <laughs> I think we're close, though. Actually, okay, good. Yeah, good. And that's hopeful thinking. <laughs> I hope you're. I hope you're close. I yeah. hope you're low because it's teachers mm -hmm. will be looking at the school. The teachers are already baked into their budget. The police and fire. Yeah, and talk about the teachers themselves are going to be looking at what police and fire. Is going I to know. Be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, I think one thing on Dan's sheet, when you look at um, Dr. Debt, debt service, I think that that's, Dan's a little bit high in fiscal 24 and tax levy. Can you pull that up, the first page? Uh, the first page. The department's debt service? Debt the debt fund? Yeah. I got 2.8. I think that's actually. Well, 2.749 the end of fiscal year 23. Um, I think it's actually 
Or does he pull in the DE? I don't know. No, he doesn't pull. He, he does it a different way. Okay. 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 Oh, then Kevin also gave gave me the the sped. Um, is sitting at um, three hundred ten thousand. Sped yeah. stable. Yep. Yeah. And this, our regular stabilization is at three point two million. Good. Yeah. So now the question is, you know, looking at the forecast, you know, we're we don't run out of money quite so quickly. I had it sound like in twenty six running out of money. We can now make it all up to twenty eight. We've added two years. So we still <laughs> need to um and I mean one of the reasons for that is I'm only having a thousand uh, one million dollars coming in as um, other stuff, right? This is four million for twenty three, and you can see it's two million for twenty two, a million, two point five million in twenty. So this year is four million. I don't expect the four million again. You could expect half of it. Yeah. So let's assume for a second that this two, this is two million. That that'll push us out a little ways out there. Yeah, it's still twenty twenty eight. We can get through twenty eight, then but then we will run out in twenty nine. And if and if for some reason the pipeline comes in in twenty four as a supplemental, right? Well, we we expected the pipeline, uh, the the power line to come right. out in twenty two. Right. So that's that that's cumulative effect every year. You don't get it. I know. Yeah. I, I would assume we should get something right twenty twenty four in this fiscal year. So that that may help. So okay, so I'll leave that change, and if I go up to new growth, right now I've got for twenty four one point two million. New construction. So new construction. So what will happen then is new construction for. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I assumed that we we're getting it in in twenty four, and we don't. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So that's where it's regular okay. inflation on that. I mean, it might come in 24 or 25. I think you're at 25 there. Right, I know, that's what, I'm, that's what I wanna be. Okay, I got rid of the, the negatives. So we're still, we're still showing deficit spending here. Right, but I think in one of those years, 24 or 25, you're gonna get that- That, that bump? That bump. So if I do, um, what, this one plus, I don't know, extra million dollars? Yeah, that's because of that. Of course, then I got to take it away here. Right. That's not forever. But it jumps into your tax levy. Right. right. Okay. So now what happens to our free cash? Oh, we live. Come on, power line. <laughs> living in, living in for me. What is it? Living in for me? What's the word? So that power line is going to save our butt. But what about something's wrong, Dan? Mm. Yeah, that's, that's 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 unbelievable. Of what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so I mean, from zero to fifteen million doesn't make sense with a. I'm, a I'm adding two. Change. I'm adding two million dollars, but it goes on forever. <laughs> Right, I'm adding two two million bucks, which just keeps going. So it's, it's so now it's it's two, it's four. It's, um, let's see, no two two million plus two and a half percent, but it just keeps adding on. So it becomes two, then it's four, six, eight. Yeah, I think that's right. But you took it away, didn't you? Take it away in twenty six. Oh yeah, because it, um, this is new growth. But this then it goes to tax base, right? And it goes, but it goes here to tax base. See, the tax yeah. base goes up. You know, here two million bucks and or two million bucks, right? Right. And then from that point forward, it just goes up one point four million. So that's only yeah, plus two and a half percent. Scroll back down to free cash. That still doesn't look like that. That looked like it was too high, but maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, it's too high. 
Wait. Well, because it doesn't, yeah. No, you, you are eight, so you're adding three million there. You're adding the Springtown meeting and the other two million for three million, right? That's how you're going. Yeah. Up. Well, we have an extra thousand bucks. You have a surplus. A surplus. Oh, it's actually a million bucks. Right. I know what you meant. So free cash starts out at eight five. Yeah, not three, spending anything. Uh, three million. We're adding. Here's that same million dollars because we we didn't spend it all, and here's just the change because we're our budget. Assuming other things come other back. things come in like this year's four million. You know, I just threw two million. And some of those pieces, yeah, it's eleven five eighty one. Three million dollars higher. Then every year you get two million coming back, and it continues right. to grow, and you don't. But, need it but here we can't. You know, but here, we, you know, because of the forecast being negative, it starts knocking it down. So once we get to this point, it just stays pretty level. Right. It stays pretty level. Yeah, I, I don't. I I don't see free cash ending. You know. Like it's applying never being used based on the overall right. forecast. Right. right, right, right. But I think if you go back up top, you're not using any free cash to balance. No, I don't need to because we have a surplus of a million bucks. Right. And that million dollars just comes right into free cash. And, and so it, the, and that's 24 though, right? Right. That's it. So that's his forecast for the current. So 24. And this so, is current year, right? For, right? Is it 24 of the current year? Yes. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is the budget. So, the so do I have this one year too early? Is a million? Well, I think that's the question. Yeah, we don't know. I, I mean, I, I would say that I wouldn't do it one year and then do. How much did you expect in total? Do you have any knowledge I of that think number? It was around one point six when it first started. Yeah. So I wouldn't put. I would put six in this year then. I would uh, put new construction. Twenty four. Yeah. At, if some comes, yeah. possibly. possibly. Yeah, but even four. They put four in. Because right now we're at one 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 point two. Right. And. There's the battle going on about what it should actually be, right. because yeah. Right. So if I make that, that, that looks a little bit. If I make close. that 600, and then yeah. the rest of it. So the the 600 against the what is it 1.9? Yeah. Right. So That's probably good to leave it that way. So you got this. Is, so this is implying 600 and 600, right? By the way. Okay. Yeah. It's probably low ball, but that. So Dan, good. I'm wondering how is it in 26, 27, 28, you've got about. Nine million or so of deficit spending. Oh, now it changed again. Um, now it's down to like three, let's say three and a half, three, three. But free cash is expanding. That doesn't seem there's something off. I'm with Don here. Oh, no, it, no, that's it's right. So, what did I do? I added 600,000 for two years. All right, so now I have to subtract a million two. All right, mm -hmm. get back. Nope, that's too much. Should be that low. Um, you have to subtract six hundred. That's what I need to do. There we go. I'm just comparing this value to that okay. value, right? Okay. So now it becomes one point three. So this implies we get one point two million from the power line in half in twenty four and half in twenty five. Okay, so now we have just a six hundred thousand dollar surplus at the end of twenty four, which then gets tracked down to there. Two million because of all this other stuff that's over. We over budget, and we're still at eleven one. Right, but when you go back to the top, all those future years have deficits that require either changes in your forecast or use of free cash. Right, and and, and those that, those that, those deficits are right here. And that okay. runs through your free cash. Yeah, it runs through your free cash. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like, the question uh, is the two million yeah. underneath it is whether right. that's yeah that's the right well, number, right? Because Dan, that two million dollars the de the deficit no the two no. Million change the change come back the oh, double come back because isn't that two million because we Steve and I use seven point five million but up top you're using nine point four. Oh, oh yeah. For, I'm a, because of the um, local receipts. I'm just taking the nine point one and giving it inflation. 
That's all. I'm using nine four six five. Right, but they're doing seven and a half. So that's that's the two mil. Like you're there, double counting the old. Right. There's, right. there's two million. Right. Because we're not going to be bringing in eleven million, and then giving back oh. two. Right. Right. Do you do you agree with that, Dan? We'll see the free. I I mean I've been writing this free cash for a long time. And, <laughs> I've always been closer to reality than these two guys. So yeah. no, no, that's I like, think that's right. Kevin, but I think that's like Kevin double keeps counts the two million. No, no, we we, we talked about that. And, oh yeah, uh, we, we do. We we have to be conservative. Right. But go ahead, Doug. Why don't you try to re-explain what you're saying? I'm saying that uh, you know W35 is 9.4 million. That's just you're growing it by inflation. By inflation. But down at the bottom, that uh, I don't have the spreadsheet in front of me, but down further, the two million. Uh, the two million underneath the deficit, you've got that two million. Isn't that the two million difference between the seven and a half that he uses and the nine and a half that you're getting? Oh, the, no. Go ahead, you explain. Not, not, not necessarily. It's because you got to remember the four million dollars that we have for twenty three, the one that's blue highlighted or yellow highlighted. Yeah. Includes several things. One is my seven hundred thousand short, you know, on free cash. It includes what you say, two point six million dollars coming back from departments. Department returns. Uh, right. Department returns. So, if a department, for example, the school department is giving us four hundred or gave us four hundred eight thousand dollars back as of September uh, June thirty. So that four hundred eight thousand is part of that four million dollars in yellow. So, right, and then local receipts were 1.9 higher than projected, I think is what so you that's, said. That, yeah, that's 700 that, higher than what I had. Right, so that change column, that's not a change across. That's, that's a plug. A, that's, a, that's, right. a, that's a combination of different things. A bunch of stuff in okay. there. But the but 2. It should be lower. million that Steve and the departments are giving back, let's say it's 2.4 million that the department, let's say it's 2 million X the schools. I don't think we're, are we getting to, do you, Steve, you think you're giving back $2 million every year? Um, I think this year. Um, this year was 2.6. That's the department return, given all of the stuff that Kevin. Right, had. and uh, 450 of it or whatever was school. So that's right. leaves about 2.1 right. million. And, and uh, we've, we've been running that, that cool million in health insurance, and that's not going to continue forever. Right. We got it. Yeah, health insurance. But it's continued for it's continued for, five, five years. for many yeah. recent history so what, years. So, so well, this is a forecast. What if you what if you dump that and yeah. made those two millions a million? Yeah. Back to a million? Back sure. to a million. Let's see what that does. But, but look at the history. The two million is a better number. Yeah, I know. Well, let's, let's look at a bad. Well, split number. the baby. Go one and a half. Well, let's see what a million does. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Ten, ten, ten. Nine three eight two seven okay. five six four. It goes down. It's, I mean, right. all these things. Yes. All these things are hinged on the fact that right now we're, our forecast shows deficit yeah, spending. Deficit spending, right. right, right, But it's not really deficit spending if you're clawing back two million. Like it ends up not well, being deficit well, spending. Yeah, right. yeah. That's the, that's the struggle I have every year in a, in and out. I'll say that yeah. it's it's we well, wrestle over nickels and dimes and then we get it all back. Yeah. Right, but remember on something like health insurance, anybody could have a qualifying event. I understand. And, and, you know. Oh, yeah, the health like, insurance budget could go terrible. Terrible. Oh, yeah. Right. It's been great for years. But, but yeah. you're self-insured. Is that what you're telling no, me? No, no, no. no, no we're GIC. GIC. Okay. Premium-based. How can it go terrible? Well, well people are less. Right now, there's probably a third of the people do not take town health insurance sure. that are eligible. Sure. Right. So if something happens and they all decide to join. A lot of people decide. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, and we're talking, you know, 300. 300. Yeah, no, no. So I you had so 300 that, 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 family plans that you had to suddenly fund. Right, but that's that's that that, that is like uh, saying we're going to get three hurricanes in Wakefield over the next 3 years. <laughs> but, but no, I, my but, point is right, right if right. they're not on your program, that's a conscious family decision that yes, all those other spouses could lose their jobs, and right. then the other person working is going to come and, and come on your plan. We also have a bubble of, of people that are a little bit younger, yeah. new hires that are still on their parents' plan. Sure. The, and the, then when they the, turn 26, they're going to No, when you look at the census, there's a lot yeah. of things in yeah. there. I, I, I get it. I, yeah. I do. Believe me. 
But 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 is it going to everything together bring yeah. back a change of a million? I think I'm I'm comfortable with that. Two million, maybe I'm not. It, it should be yeah. a million. Yeah. So that it should be a million, but it hasn't. Been. But it's, it's been better. Yeah. But we are asking to budget better yeah. to get yeah. closer yeah. to the million. No, I'm being, not being a wise guy. No, no, I know. You have your reasons why. Right. So if if right if right if 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 the if the expenses up top come down because of, of budgeting, then that million might come down too. True. Okay. Yeah. But it's a wash. It would. It's a wash. It's gonna wash out. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. That's why it's there. But what I'm feeling good about when you run that out at yeah. the million, your runoff is still still good. Yeah, the thirty two. Yeah, a lot's going to change. Hey, it was a better than it was in the spring. Oh, my God, God, it's so much better than it was in the spring. I mean, 48 months, 24 months max anyway, right? I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, are you, what are you holding for um, state aid percentage increase? State aid percentage increase? Yeah. Uh, seats, here we go. So, four. Four, okay. It has run a little bit higher as of late. Um, I, I do, reading the tea leaves, revenue hasn't been all that great this year. Um, and also, I, I, my own opinion is, is I think that the state seems to like to fund programs they want to fund. Absolutely. Not giving money for, you know, unrestricted local aid and, Chapter 70, and there's more string. So I think we got to, I think those seven and eight percent bumps are going to be, my feeling is that that may not occur in the past few years. So, yeah. But the revenue is growing wonderfully across the state, correct? Not as much as they had hoped. I think they were, they're not meeting They're tempering it down a little bit yeah. because not it was their expectations. a year ago or three quarters of a year yeah. ago, was, they were like sailing along. They seem to be not meeting expectations. A couple of things that I've looked at. Yeah, I mean, they had to do the tax uh, tax right. break for us to uh, appease the natives, but yeah. yep. But I do think we're going to get you know new growth is going to continue while these things get built too. So, and if you look at the state receipts, that going from here to here is not a not a large increase. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll get another big year in Chapter Seventy if they bump. Uh, but I think that they've been, how much, full, what does fully funded mean in Chapter 70? Yeah, they oh. did that extra. Yeah. For 24, I just plugged in 13.3. Yeah. Well, let me know that number. Is, yeah, I, well, I was going to ask you for the yeah. exact amount. But tell me about. 13.356.886. Uh, 13.356.886. Oh, 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 that's too, I got too many characters now. Say it again. Do I? Oh, I don't. Okay. 86. Pretty good. When you talk about new growth, um, right, so the interest rates are going to stay high for the next two years, right, Doug? <laughs> no way, Doug. Yeah, no way. Way. No way. Absolutely. Thumbs up. No, I think they're good. They've, they've been talking about these rates are going to stay up for a while. And the, and the bond market right now is saying the long term rates are starting to go up because they think it's going to last a little bit longer. Yeah, I was going to ask about the bond market. Doug, long term, right. coming, coming down at the end of uh, 24. What do you think? Well, long term rates, long term yeah. rates are like it's more that the short end yeah. will come down then, but the long end, I don't, nobody can tell you where the long end's going. So I just told you, it's the end of 24. <laughs> so that, that being said, I'm just curious it, are we ever going to get to our um, minimum requirement 10% housing for, yes. so we can stop the 40B yes. bullshit, yes. which will in turn slow down some potential growth in the town? Yes. Yes. We, if everything. Uh, what's our percentage if now, if you know? 9.1. Thank if you. If everything were built, that has been approved. This has been approved. Okay. Including 200 corner power it. The guy um, down the street here on, yeah. on Broadway that ZBA just approved. Broadway just approved. And he wasn't 40B, but I'm just. But, uh, well, Crescent Street, which, which is the 40B. Yeah. If all of that stuff was approved, we'd be right at about 10%. Okay. Which means we can stop. Right. Well, we could stop getting apartments forced down your throat on your on the corner yeah, of your street. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. But so that would slow down potentially. Oh yeah. New growth because well, it's maybe it's a different price. 
Yeah, but the, yeah, but right. the, the land is running thin right. for, for a, a cost average basis to do these types of things. But but once we hit ten percent, we could drop down if somebody builds something large that's not forty B, and now we're nine nine, right? Um, well, the next census won't be done for a while. So, yeah. so it's off expensive, but, right? But but our remember that we we have this inclusionary zoning at eighteen percent, right? So that helps us, you know. The inclusionary yeah. zoning around the trans trans around the, around the transportation. The so the Broadway uh, Broadway ten, I think it's ten Broadway. Yeah, that's a um, not a forty B, but yeah. it will be yeah, twenty percent affordable. 80, or something. Percent will, or twenty yeah. will be affordable. So yeah. All right. I don't think you can really blame. Like it's not like forty B's held us hostage. It's every developer wants to build. You know, yeah, that's it's a, the word I used. But yeah, you, you're absolutely correct. I mean, building apartments. <laughs> Make some serious money building apartments. That, you know, even at the interest rates today, that's the point. Um, on your on your schedule, Dan, where do you have um, department budgets going next year? As of um, um, the twenty-five, the twenty-five. Yeah. So. Uh, well, What's did, general? That's, well, that's government. Yeah, that's that's Steve's budgets. So, I mean, I got I plug schools in at six because of the contract. I'm I'm going to bet they're going to come back and ask for six. For Twenty five. Yeah, they claimed it was baked in this year, but but they've got to get there. They got to get there. But um, now if they come in something less than that, it makes a yeah. huge huge difference. Oh God, when it's forty percent, absolutely right. Yeah. And then articles. Articles at three. That's all. It seems reasonable stuff. Guys, I'm sorry. I have to hop off. Okay. Was that Doug? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks Doug. Yeah, see, see you, buddy. See you. Doug, we'll get together before the tri board. Doug, I can't make the tri board meeting. You're the guy. Oh, okay. When is that? <laughs> I'll send you an email. <laughs> I think it's October 26th. October 26th, 27th, last Thursday of the month. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be your backup, Doug. You'll be fine. <laughs> yep, just follow That's Dan's gonna lead. Totally, <laughs> this will be totally remote, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I could dial in by a pool. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hey, pool. I didn't plan on it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, you know, Charles, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, I friend of mine just came back from there. A friend of mine has a house down there. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Best All house right, in the so, world, not mine. If that's already baked in, 6% to me is awfully high to be. Well, for future roll-up, right? If, if they're kind of for a... I'm looking at their track history. I know, I know. That's a huge number. That's a huge number. Yeah, I'd be comfortable going a little lower than that, but it's not going to be lower than what it is this year. They had 5.2 to get balance for this year. So what does that do if I make it? I just knock down one percent. Yeah, it's not quite so negative. A little bit better. Yeah. And again, I, I want to understand a little more with them on the, the you know the rolling uh, the revolving accounts. So we may get some benefit there. Yeah, I mean that that. And if if I if I change this number back to oh yeah that's two million uh, or one point five million, then we'll be okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We just have to keep the pressure on the schools to not go crazy. No, no I agree. It'd be good to get all these contracts at least landed and uh, understood and be able to see it forward, you know? Okay. All right, cool. Um, all all three-year contracts, Steve? Mine are, my, I hope to bring in all three year. yes. Schools three or four? What, uh, I think three on the schools, but it's I, typically a three. Typically yeah, three yeah. I don't know if Ruben got four. I was just thinking about that. But. It might have been a one and a three because it might have been already out for a year. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's technically it's supposed to go no more than three. Okay. Police and fire is ended June thirtieth. June thirtieth. Yeah. So everybody's without. They're without. Yes. Same thing with the schools. Schools are Same without also. Schools. Yeah. June thirtieth. Didn't they do an informal informational picket recently? Yeah, they, the school teachers are. Yeah. yeah so, Steve, this is, what so, I, this is what I did for the police and fire up there in the sun. Oh, okay. So I did, I put in a bump from regular.
So I think the mantra though. So the 6-3 is a current budget. And because he hadn't settled, I, I just okay. put a load on okay. of two and a half percent. Okay. Okay. I can go back to the other sheet. So basically though, for, for the forecasting and, and for the, the theme with the rest of the body, it's, uh, you know, continue to be prudent, continue to keep the numbers as, as uh, realistic as they can be. And uh, we'll see what we get from state and local receipts and et cetera, and, and see how we do. Yeah, I think we're gonna go, we're gonna do the same thing we've done. We're gonna go level funded except for contractual start. Yeah, so level funded except for contractual. Unless we find some areas where it should be lower. Yeah, and all of that's in that three ballpark range, right. that three point something ballpark range. Yep. yep. Okay. The the veterans budget. Yeah, I mean that one we. I mean that one we knocked down from here down to there, but then I didn't reduce it anymore. I gotta believe you're gonna end up reducing it again. Yeah, I mean I, I get the notes. I mean we had a lot of dialogue about reducing it by twice as much as you did. Right. We knocked it down 60 grand from 23 to 24. We were looking to knock it down 120. Right, and, but I bet we'll knock it, I bet that'll be another 50,000 to get knocked off of that 170. Yeah, and that would be reasonable if that if both bodies agreed on that, I think, yeah. based on. Uh, yeah, we'll see where we are half the year. So talk to the veterans agent about yeah. number of applications and so forth. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so I know that some of my 25 numbers are are off already just because of oh, yeah. discussions. The 50,000 doesn't quite cover millions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but you got you to do it, though. Got to do it. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Anything else we want to cover? I think I'm good. Don? No. So we're better news report. than I expected. I uh, know. <laughs> yep. We'll get some reports or documents when you're ready for some of those numbers we just talked about for sort of end of year stuff. Steve so will have his end of year report. Uh, again, I gave you the receipts. Can you share that with Jim? Or did, did I email that to you? Yes, I did. Yeah, you emailed me the. Um, I'll do it right now for, while I'm thinking of it. Yeah, Don. Send it to Don and, and Doug. You didn't give me them. Sure, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> Dan will send them to you. <laughs> See him. <laughs> um, so no for, no finance committee meeting in advance of the of the the tri board. No no need. Um, not necessary. We, no. we didn't you know, no. we're chatting before no. the meeting. So no, we will need one before town meeting. Yeah. You know. Yeah. If only to the free cash. Correct. Uh, but I'm hopeful there'll be a couple more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, I I did notice in the. Um, we didn't have anything for the override for the high school going forward. Is, are we waiting till the bonding goes out and all of that? Oh yeah, when are they going up for bonds? That's due, isn't we it? We have, um, um, that. that's kind of, it, it, it's not within the two and a half tax levy, so that, that's gonna be funded extra, so you don't have to worry about that affecting our, our budgets. Um, but we did go and we did uh, issue some bond anticipation notes in September, in February, we're gonna go out for another round. I think February might be 38 million or something like that. Number 20, it's a 30. big number, 30 million. I, you know, we certainly, I tell you, if rates were at 2% right now, I might be, um, I, I, I might say, let's go borrow it all. Oh yeah. You know, but they're not. So, um, uh, you know, we're not spending a lot of money right now. They're doing, you know, they're doing plans and architectural and stuff like that. So, but the debt exclusion that in does the debt exclusion um, account taking care of it? We don't have to worry about it from from this discussion. Yeah, yes, exactly, exactly. Something's peeling off, and, it, and it's it's, it, it, it's money above that. Yeah, whatever yeah. that call that 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 cost is extra money on your tax bill. Because if, if I remember right, in Dan's right. in Dan's okay. schedule, he had a debt exclusion. Right, and he'll just add to that, to that number on both. Twenty nineteen and right. then nothing. Right. Yeah, he'll add numbers on both sides of that, so it'll wash. Okay. You know, like for this year, of all of our, um, so for this year, for the runoff on the, you know, on the Galvin, which we're still paying for, and a little bit of the high school, I guess. Yep. It's 2.7 million. 
but that so that's extra on everybody's tax bill. So that's not going to affect our free cash and our all the. Oh right, 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 right. So the files that you gave me, I just sent to Steve, Jim, yeah. Doug, and Don. All right, and would you, you can send me the uh, your, your sheet again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean it up a little. Clean it up or whatever. Yeah, we'll have to hit the save button first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. All right, Finance Committee, we're doing interviews tonight with, uh, yeah. with Mr. Carroll. Is that in this building? You know? That's right here in this office. Uh, what what oh interviews? What? We have one opening. Oh. And we're finally uh, pulling together the uh, committee to interview. Who, who is, who's off? Was there, oh, was it just open? No, um, one of the new guys uh, oh, yeah. came and went quickly. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. I know who you are. Zach? Talking. Yes, Zach. Right. He was on for three quarters of a year. Okay. Basically. And then changed jobs or something like that yeah. and then backed out. So uh, how many candidates do you have? We have only two candidates. We had three and one backed out. So we have we have two candidates and uh, that's who that's who we're interviewing tonight. How do they look? Very good. Oh, okay. Very good. One of them is a former finance committee member. Really? Yes. Here? Yes. Laurie I, I, Laurie Wheeler. Oh. The other okay. one is a Laurie's good. The other one is a senior top, I don't know how high, executive at Raytheon. Are we still on the, anyway. And a very, very strong looking candidate, was a CFO in one of Raytheon's subsidiaries and, and lives in town, so interesting guy. Henry, Henry last name escapes me, I, I get the paperwork in the car, but. There was a third gentleman uh, backed out, so. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. I tried to get Brian McCurry to, to re-up. Oh yeah. Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you in the meeting, Dan. Don, we're gonna end the meeting, is that all right? Motion to adjourn. That's fine. Oh, yeah, motion to adjourn. Do you need a motion? Please. Yeah. A motion to adjourn. Oh, oh Doug, I guess I second. You do. <laughs> okay, thank you guys.